Other neat little vintage details, you'll see that beautiful fan up there, which, you know, is an antique. It's kind of cool to look at. Um, so to tell, begin to tell the story of the, the Institute Library, I want to bring you over around here to this carousel, because this is sort of a little history. So I'm going to start with um, what New Haven was like in around 1825. It was a manufacturing town, and most of the people who worked here were middle class, and if you were in the middle class and you worked in a factory, you could not not actually afford books. Books were a real commodity, and so a number of New Haven uh, people got together, men, and they decided that they were going to pool their resources and purchase books, and that each one of them would read a book, and then they'd get together and talk about it, so that eventually they had a small library and they decided to incorporate themselves as the Young Men's Institute Library. And their first home, if you look at this photograph, you'll see that this is what the building on the corner of church and chapel looked like, which is just right over there. Here's where uh, Starbucks is now. This building is actually still here. This is where the Citibank is, right here on the corner, just across the street from where this was. And they were there until 1940. And then, um, for a brief period, 1944 to 45, they were in the building on the corner of Orange and Court, which is still here as well. If you go down the street, that's where Roberto's is, which is where I saw Look you at that the time. cars. Yep. And, and then they were in the Phoenix Building from 1846 to 1865. And that Phoenix Building came down. That's where the vacant lot is um, across the street from here now. I don't know if you remember when that building came down. Um, and then... In around 1856, the Institute Library built the Palladium Building, which is still there today. There's a coffee shop down on the first floor. And they occupied that building uh, until the Civil War. And when the Civil War came, their membership was like probably around 500. But the Civil War came, and all these men went off to fight, and most of them didn't come back. So it, the membership of the Institute Library dropped, and they had to sell the building. So they sold that building, and for a few years, they were sort of itinerant a little bit. They were in the uh, old state house on the green in New Haven in 1875, and in 1877, they were on the corner of Church and Court Streets, and then and occupied the building that we're in now. So these are the doors that we just came up, and we're up here right now, just where these windows are, talking. And you can see there's a little storefront there, and there's an old movie theater next door. It says talking pictures on it. And uh, the Institute Library has occupied this space from 1878 until now. I read the book, The Professor and the Madman. Um, this is the same Minor family that was featured in that book, and he was the original founding president of the library. And some of these are old New Haven names, Alfred Walker, Osborne. There's Charles Ives. Sidney Thomas. I know that there's a Peck Street in New Haven. There's Oliver Winchester. He was president for a while. <clears throat> Morris Tyler, the old law firm, Tyler Cooper, and Ann Calabrese's uh, grandfather. Charles uh, Graves. Henry Party. We have the Party Rose Garden. These are all the captains. All men. Actually, it's been all men. <laughs> since. Just, When's that going to change, I Marianne? <laughs> I don't know. This is the first time for everything, right? Yeah, that's right. It should happen. Maybe it'll happen soon. Actually, the current president, and then Robert Wendler was president until uh, 2008, and right now Greg Pepe um, is the current president. And then we have the librarians, which initially started off to we be all men. We also men. Well, we have some women in here. You'll see that some of the women that were here, Abigail Dunn was the librarian here for 50 years. Um, but this gentleman, William Borden, is someone that I want you to remember because I'm going to tell you an amazing story about him in a little while. Um, but then you've got um, the current librarians, more recent anyway, and then this is Becky. She's a librarian now. She's been here since 1986.